What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Extra Innings. Today we have a, uh, a video about a question that I get asked a lot is what kind of cameras do I use for my YouTube channel? I'm obviously uh, an amateur videographer. Uh, it's something I just like to do for fun on the side so I don't have a lot of uh, different cameras and stuff but I think it is um, kind of interesting and I have a lot of fun with these cameras so I thought I'd share those with you today. Um, so yeah we'll go through. Um, I've got three different cameras and one kind of camera kind of uh, accessory I'll, I'll show you it's pretty fun so stick with us and let's get into it all right so first up uh, like I said I am um, just an amateur videographer kind of a, a youtuber just like to have fun um, so I, I don't have a lot of money into this but um, I guess where we have to start is where I started my YouTube videos just with an iPhone um, when I first started this channel I believe about two years ago now. Um, I, I just used my iPhone for uh, for all the videos, probably the first five or six videos. Um, like I said, I was just kind of getting started, just wanted something to uh, connect with the fans, and I, I thought the camera on my iPhone was plenty good enough. At the time, I had an iPhone 6, I believe. Um, I've now upgraded. I have an 11 now. But um, anyways, the cameras on these phones are incredible. Um, so you could do the entire channel just on this. Um, but yeah, there's some, some of my other cameras allow me to do other stuff that uh, just enhance it a little bit. But um, the camera on the iPhone uh, is definitely how I started, like I said, for the first five or six videos. And um, kind of grew from there, but all started here. Uh, we're taking the KTX train today. Um. <laughs> all right, next is actually my newest purchase. Um, I got this probably almost a month ago now, maybe three weeks. Um, it, it's a pretty fun little camera. Um, and I say little because it is a very small camera. It is the DJI uh, Pocket 2. So this is the case it comes in. Um, it's very small, pops out of there. Um, drop the case for now. And basically it's just a little handheld camera. Um, when I turn it on, watch this here. Kind of cool. It's um, so it's just a pocket camera. It's on a gimbal, uh, so it is able to kind of when I walk around and uh, if you're bouncing along at all, it, it this uh, camera is able to kind of stabilize and it won't bounce with you as you're walking or biking or anything like that. Um, then I can turn it around there. Um, I've used a GoPro in the past, but I find the uh, the shake. Of a GoPro really annoying um, I don't care for it so um, this has been a cool little addition um, with the gimbal uh, yeah it, it's been a lot of fun and with it um, you also get so this case kind of holds everything with it so on the top there is a wireless microphone so this uh, sock does come off so that's the microphone um, and it has a little clip on the back so I can just clip that on my shirt and use it as a microphone um, and then obviously it comes with this wind sock as well uh, so if you're outside and uh, in the wind put this on and it cuts down a lot of that excess noise so I have not used this microphone yet um, I've just used the camera for a few little videos but um, from what I've seen this microphone is very good so um, we'll cut here to a little bit of footage filmed with the DJI Pocket 2 Also, I should include with the DJI Pocket 2, it does have a little uh, tripod that you can spread out there. Um, and obviously, I can just set it on the ground um, or wherever, turn it on, and bingo. I'm able to put it on the ground. It has time-lapse options, um, hyperlapse options, so I can set it um, on the ground or anywhere. Um, and I can have it follow myself, so I can walk around and do something, or I can have it um, just kind of follow the horizon or... Um, anything outside so that's kind of a cool little feature to be able to set it on that little tripod and let it do it let it do its thing so um, really neat little camera all right one of my favorite um, additions to my little camera collection um, like I said this one's kind of a camera kind of a toy kind of fun it is the DJI Mini 2 drone um, this thing's been a lot of fun I got it during uh, our two-month lockdown here um, during the season uh, it was getting pretty boring we had no baseball for two months just practice um, so I got myself one of these and let me tell you this thing is fun um, Using the camera or not just flying it is a lot of fun um, 
you do have to be a little bit careful where you fly. It's only allowed in certain areas um, here in Taiwan and every other country. Um, but DJI makes it really easy. They have an app that shows you where you can fly and where you can't. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure the drone won't even take off um, if you're in a flight restricted area, um, which there are some around where we live and in the city and stuff. So, um, but the reason I got the Mini 2 is it is 242 grams, I believe. Um, which if you're under 250 grams, you don't need to uh, have a license to fly it or anything like that. So it makes it great for hobbyists, uh, YouTubers like myself. Um, it's really great. Get some really cool um, flying shots looking down. Um, and that all comes from this little camera here. Um, again, it is on a gimbal. It's made by DJI, same as the Mini. Um, they, they've done incredible stuff with their cameras. So um, this thing has been a lot of fun. After I got mine, both of my teammates here got one as well because they thought it was so so much fun, um, which it is. I mean, it, it's it's hard not to have a smile on your face when you're flying this thing, and um, it can go a long ways. Uh, definitely have to be careful. Um, fun little fact: don't like to uh, admit it, but this is my second drone. Um, I did crash the first one uh, actually during one of my YouTube videos, um, but luckily I had insurance, mailed it back. I think I paid another. 30 or 40 dollars and they mailed me a new one um, so thank goodness for insurance and warranty i got another one uh, but let's hope this is my last one and again another le nice little accessory with the drone is the remote control um, it's really well made it utilizes your phone as a screen um, you can see it's kind of held in with a a, uh, kind of a clamp there uh, it's tethered in right through the USB port um, and then joysticks basically um, yeah it, it's really easy to fly DJI makes it really easy for beginners um, if you just don't touch the joysticks it'll just hover midair which is nice if you kind of get stressed out or uh, not sure where you are or what you're doing you can kind of just let go of everything um, and it'll just stay hovered in midair and you can kind of find yourself and figure out what to do um, another nice function is this button right here. Um, it is a return to home button. So again, if you kind of get lost, not sure how to get back to uh, landing it, you can press that button, flies back to where it started, and comes right back to you. So uh, that's a really nice function, and it'll land itself as well. Um, usually I do my own landing, and I try not to get lost or um, not know where it is. I definitely try to stay somewhat close to myself so I can see where it is, but... It is easy to lose this thing. It goes high enough and far enough that uh, your eyes can't always see it. Um, but then, yeah, you use the cameras and find your way back. So DJI's done an incredible job with this. Um, makes it really user-friendly and a lot of fun. So um, if you're looking into one, I wouldn't be intimidated. Um, it was my first time ever flying. Like I said, I did crash it once, but that was my own fault. Um, tried to get a little bit too close to a tree, hit a branch and fell. But uh, in general, these things are very easy to fly and a lot of fun, so I highly suggest getting one. All right, and finally is the camera that I'm currently shooting on. Um, it is my main camera for stuff like this where I'm uh, sitting in one spot, uh, not moving around. It is definitely a great camera. So let me switch cameras here and I will show you uh, what you're currently watching on right now. All right, so I've got you switched over to the DJI Pocket 2. Um, so first of all, I guess let me know if you can tell a difference between the video and audio from this camera um, compared to the first camera which, like I said, is my main camera. Um, this is the first camera that I bought after um, I was using my iPhone. So I switched from my iPhone to this setup right here. Um, it is a, I'm not sure the brand of this. Um, it's a handle and a tripod in one, uh, which is really nice. So I can use it, point it out myself and vlog. Um, I can obviously carry it this way, um, or I can flip out the tripod and set it on a table. So it does, um, rotate all around uh, so again just very easy to use um, and this is all I used for probably about a year and a half two years pretty much two years um, since I got this uh, pocket 2 about three weeks ago so um, I switched from my iPhone to this it is the Canon EOS M50 um, it's a mirrorless camera so it's not a point-and-shoot um, but it's also not a full DSLR camera has a flip screen here, um, which can kind of point all angles um, back, forward. So the forward is really nice when I'm filming myself. Uh, this camera, I'm able to see myself and kind of frame the shot. So 
it's uh, it's been great for me. Of course, everybody always asks what's on top. Uh, big furry squirrel looking thing. That is a microphone. Uh, is the Rode uh, Video Mini 2, something like that. The Rode Mini. Um, I, I forget the exact name, but something like that. It just plugs right into the audio port. Gives it a little better audio, especially when you're outside with the windsock. Um, it's been a great camera. So this is just the basic lens that came with the camera. Um, no expensive add-ons or anything. Um, no filters, ND filters, anything like that. So just a really simple setup. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm still an amateur using all of the ISO and uh, F-stops and that stuff. Um, 1080p, 4K. All of that is still new to me. I'm starting to learn it a little bit. Um, this camera is able to shoot up to 4K um, and also 60 frames per second in, I believe, 1080. So if that means anything to you, great. Um, but if you're like me, I kind of just set it at one setting, um, change the brightness uh, as I need throughout different videos, and that's about it. So I don't get too fancy with it, but this camera has been awesome. Like I said, it's the camera I've used for about two years. Um, and I really have no complaints. It's, uh, it's been awesome and I fully plan on keeping using it as well as the Pocket 2 and of course the drone. Uh, the drone is kind of in a league of its own, does its own thing. So I'm pretty much done using my iPhone. Most of the videos that you've seen are on this camera. So um, yeah, it's been, it's been great for me. All right, and finally, um, editing my YouTube videos. Uh, this is something that I actually really enjoy. A lot of people, a lot of videographers and YouTubers uh, seem to say they don't enjoy the editing process. For me, it's kind of one of my favorite parts. Um, still, again, an amateur. I don't have all the cool transitions and that stuff figured out yet, but I am learning and having fun with it. So it's something I usually do on the buses. Um, we spend a lot of time on the bus traveling from city to city or the train. Um, and it's something I like to do to stay occupied. So um, I do all my editing on the iPad Pro. That's the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Um, I do have the Apple Pencil as well, which really helps, um, makes, makes life a little bit easier with some of those fine tune adjustments um, and whatnot. But the iPad Pro has been uh, awesome for me. I've had this for three years now. Um, so I've done all my editing on here. I started just with um, iMovie, which is a, a free app on the iPad. I have since upgraded to a program called LumaFusion. Uh, it's been great. It's definitely more advanced than iMovie, um, but it's not as advanced as a lot of other programs that are out there um, that are a lot more money and just way more than I need. I'm not a professional video editor. Um, these aren't going on TV. These are just for YouTube. So um, LumaFusion has been awesome for me, uh, very easy to use and uh, allows you to do a lot of things. I'm still learning. So hopefully the videos are uh, entertaining for you guys and um, yeah, I, I like that editing process and that kind of creative outlet. So, um, like I said, gives me something to do on the bus rides and on off days uh, to stay busy. And especially during our quarantine or our lockdown uh, during COVID this season. Um, had a lot of time to kill, so that's where I did a lot of my learning. But um, that's it for uh, my shooting and my editing process. I hope that video uh, was informative for you guys. A lot of you have asked what cameras I use. Um, and th that's what I've got. So they're a lot of fun. Each of them kind of has their own different use. Um, like I said, the kind of standard camera here, the small pocket two for more action and on the go stuff. And then of course the drone for those, uh, those really cool flight shots, um, kind of overhead shots. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like subscribe and comment.